So what we have behind us is the first of about a three to five year project where we're going to install 300 different families of the Quercus alva or the American white oak tree that we use to, to uh, age our whiskey. This was a partnership with the University of Kentucky and Maker's Mark Distillery. And this first planting behind us was done on April the 15th. And uh, next spring we'll plant the, you know, however many available until we get all 300 variants here on the property at Star Hill Farm. The bourbon industry, we can only use the white oak barrel one time and then we have to you know, use a new barrel each batch of bourbon. So it's vital to us to ensure that there is a sustainable supply of American white oak. And so this project is going to be a, probably ongoing for a hundred years or more, learning what the genetic makeup of the tree can do to improve the quality of the wood as well as to protect it from invasive species or future diseases. We have a mother tree that's here on the lake where, we're, where our process water comes from. And that tree is you know, estimated to be at least 250 years old. But we took the genetic tissue from that and there at the lab at UK for the last year and a half, they've been mapping that genome to, to find out what within its DNA causes the different characteristics that we have found to be in these trees that we're planting. Once we've determined that this particular you know, um, sequence or this pair of the DNA causes maybe straighter growth or faster, uh, more vigorous growth or more lignans or tannins in the wood, you know, just unlimited options. Once we actually have mapped the genome, then we can start diving in to see what is better and how to breed these different uh, variants together to get further improve it.